Memphis, Tennessee, alongside Christina Beard. I'm Greg Gaston. We move to another catch weight fight. This is a 150 pounder. And this is Jonathan El Pantera Morales and Jeff Wildboy Thompson. Both these fighters will be making their debut. Morales from Jonesboro, Arkansas, fighting out of the Warriors gym, coached by Jordan Fowler, a V3 fights veteran, black belt, who turned pro, became a pro fighter. He'll be cornered by Fowler and Glenn Cole. He took the fight on one week's notice. I mean, that right there says a lot. With his coaches, Fowler and Cole, I'm sure that they've been able to give him a lot of guidance and advice on being in the ring and, and the crowd and the pressure and the nerves. Hopefully he can handle all that in the ring. This is going to be a good one. A week's notice. That, that changes the game. Morales just 19 years of age, and he'll be going up against a 32-year-old in Thompson. But again, when it comes to the experience inside the cage, both are making their debut. So right. you can throw that out the window. Yeah, we'll see if the age plays a part in this in this, uh, in this this fight. High, evenly height here. I find that it doesn't normally. Yeah. yeah. Right? A 32-year-old yeah. against a 20-year-old. It, it just doesn't now. If you're talking about now, we've seen 45-year-olds, 46-year-olds right. who just run out of gas. And yeah, and that's a totally different story. I just wonder if being, if and maybe maybe at a young age, I just wonder how how much focus there is. I'm sure um, Jonathan Morales and Jeff Thompson are both super focused and super excited for this fight. Well, here comes Wild Boy Jeff Thompson from Horn Lake, Mississippi, another Brawlers Den fighter, coached by Jeff Denton and Ricky Pike. Let's take a look at the tail of the tape. Again, El Pantera, Jonathan Morales from Jonesboro, Arkansas, making his debut, 5'9", 145, an MMA fighter, 19 years of age. And Thompson from Horn Lake, also his debut, also 5'9", also 145, and an MMA fighter. The big difference, he's 32, Morales is 19. Wild Boy played high school baseball and basketball at West Union High School. Said he loves the challenge, the adrenaline rush of kickboxing and now moving into MMA. He's a father of four. He's a musician and a youth baseball and football coach. This guy's got a full schedule, and now he's added MMA fighting to it. No doubt about it. And he actually told me that all of his kids train, every single one of them, so that's pretty exciting. Let's meet the two. Let's go inside the cage to Greg Ratliff. Introducing first out of the blue corner, he is wearing the black trunks, standing at 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. This is his MMA debut, representing Warriors Gym and fighting out of Jonesboro, Arkansas, Jonathan El Pantera Morales! And across the cage, his adversary fighting out of the red corner, wearing black trunks, but standing at 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighing in at 145.4 pounds, this is his MMA debut, representing the Brawlers Den, fighting out of Horn Lake, Mississippi, Jeff Wildboy Thompson! Nice crowd here to root on Wildboy. They definitely have some fans here. Well, he has four kids. <laughs> And they all train. You better watch out for this guy's family. <laughs> Again, this is a catchweight 150-pound battle between Morales and Thompson. Scheduled for three three-minute rounds. Omar Sutton, third man inside the cage. Round one. Here we go on V3 Fights. A lot of head. Oh, wow. wow. That's great he height that on that kick from Morales. Oh, gosh, nice oak left. Uh-oh, got a problem here. He, he looked like he dislocated or maybe, maybe broke a finger. Oh, it's definitely broke. I can see it pointing yeah. the other way. And uh, that. Man, this is, I mean, we get started and we stop. <laughs> it, is, uh, it is strange. It is strange. We have never had this many stops. Let's see what the doctor says here about this. We'll take a look at the, the finger of Thompson, but you saw it right away. Thompson still looks ready. He still looks hungry. Maybe just a dislocation yeah. and they're pulling it out. Is that what they're trying to do? And we'll see if he can continue. Looks like we have some squirming over there. He said just, I think he said just do it. I can tell you all about a finger. Oh, I've, had two, I've had two operations oh, on wow. a finger that I 
Your fingers can be sensitive. Yeah, and look, I, I still can't even oh, yeah. bend, bend the oh, finger. Yeah. So, absolutely. I mean, it's nothing to play around with. No, no. But if it's a simple dislocation, they, they can pull that out. I've seen that many times. Yeah, pull that out and just move right past it. But if it's broken, and you said, you, you know, you thought, again, this just yeah. looking at it from a distance. Right. Looks like they're taping it up. So maybe they're, maybe it was just dislocation. I thought I saw it point the other way, but. Well, mine was sideways. <laughs> mine was. How did you do that? Uh, you don't want to know. Don't, don't even want to go You there. don't want to okay. know. Okay. Well, you got the scar to. Oh, last yeah. you a lifetime. Two operations on it this past Jeez. summer, so, yeah. Oh, it's, it's your wedding ring finger, too. Yes, believe me, I'm getting my wedding <laughs> ring right now fixed at really? a jeweler. It has had to be uh, expanded two and a half sizes. Really? Yes, that's how big this finger is. You can see how can see. You know, people wow. are wondering, what's Greg's finger look <laughs> like? It's not good. <laughs> we'll post a picture on Facebook All right. later. <laughs> so let's give a lot of credit to Wild Boy. He's going to stay in there. Jeff Thompson, good sportsmanship between the two, and he's going to continue. But how much of a factor will it be? I like how much movement Morales has had, how much movement he has. A lot of head movement. A moving target's harder to hit, right? Exactly. Now, that was his right hand. We'll see if Thompson throws more with his left. Just feeling each other out here, getting their timing, their distance, getting that down. Morales has some really good head movement. Bobs and weaves. For Big sure. overhand left. Yep, we saw a left there. There it is. Letting them hands go a little bit. Morales came back with a right. Now in the clinch, and they go spinning down to the ground. Right back up. Well, he has him in a choke. Thompson wants on the ground. Yeah, had him in a choke for a couple of seconds. Lots of energy in this fight. Looks like Morales wants to go for a kick there. Kind of comes at you very unorthodox, does he not? For sure, for sure. Oh, there's the kick I was looking for. Oohs and ahs from the fans. Nice. Oh, right. Yeah, nice right that got through. Right on the chin. But that leverage, that height of those kicks, wow. Just 19 years of age. Got to be careful here. Keep your chin down. Hands up, chin down. Looks like we got a cut from Thompson. Yeah, it was eye. on that kick. It had to be on yeah, that kick. definitely. But you always got to watch for the counter. For sure. Right follow there. that kick home. We talk about following that kick, following those strikes home as soon as another, as a if your opponent strikes, that's a good time to follow him home. Another right got through to Thompson. And he's got a cut over his left eye. I tell you, these guys, they're throwing a lot of strikes here, and they're landing. They're very effective striking right here. Well, went down to the ground for about two seconds. Most of it's been standing, and boxing, and kicking. Thompson says he likes to train hard to make the fight easy. If he makes it through this first round, That's they right. will work on it in between. That cut the work on, but Morales is smelling blood, literally. <laughs> for sure. I'm such a big fan of the head kicks. I'm just a sucker for him. I love him. Morales is doing a great job with those head kicks. He's not throwing punches with the right hand. I can tell you that yeah. right now. If it is, it's just token. So it's all been left hand. And I wonder if Morales senses that because of what he did. Right. See, he'll throw a little jab out there. Right. But that's not what he's, he's not what he's he's going for here. Whoa, big miss. That was the counter, but he missed. He missed. He, yeah, if he spinned around with that kick, final seconds, first round, and he missed. And then Thompson tried to counter with a punch, and he was way off. But a, another crazy start <laughs> to a fight here on V3 Fight 78. Morales I'm, with some really wicked kicks. I'm not a judge here, but I think that one's going to go to Morales. What do you think? I think it's Morales, and I, I wonder... I don't think it's a 10-8, right? Yeah. That'll be the fun part. I, I, don't, I don't think so. I don't think so either. No. I mean, he cut him up with that yeah. one kick, and there's where they're working on the finger. Let's see if we... He really let that leather go. Yeah, not Morales. bad right there, right from Thompson. Morales able to do a reversal, put him against the fence, and then they go down, and I believe they come right back up here. Now, he's already bloody at this point, so... We Morales did, we definitely didn't. had the pre more pressure that round, uh, you know, more control of the ring, I felt. We'll get the announcement here from Greg Ratliff. But that, that had to be Morales' round. Was it a 10-8 or a 10-9? The judges had awarded the first round to Anthony Jonathan Morales. All right, so no surprise there. So I would assume that's just a 10-9. Round two, 
Here we go. On B3 fights. Great sportsmanship between the two. Again, Thompson hurt his finger in the first seconds of this fight. Worked on the cut, but we'll see if Morales works on that cut himself. He goes wonder, right at it. I wonder if that finger is bothering him right now, if it's throbbing, if it's even in his brain, you know, if he's moving right past it. Oh, got a mouth piece. Mouth guard came out. I got I to gotta think, Christina, it is. He may yeah. not admit to it, but yeah. I got to think it is. Well, it's probably definitely going to be hurting in the morning. I like how the refs made sure that mouth guard was back in. Again, just making sure that our fighters are safe. Jab, jab, cross from Morales. Oh, oh he got tagged. The sweat yeah, got come off of that one. That was a very effective strike. Yeah, he got tagged with the left from Morales and then almost slipped. A little bit of perspiration on the ground here. Thompson's got to keep those hands up. He's getting a little lazy with those hands. That's when Morales is going to take advantage of that. There we go. Okay, he's trying to load up with that left. Now, he's a southpaw, but the right jab is not effective at all. He's just kind of throwing it out nope, there. It's a takedown there if he wants it. He hesitated just a little bit. Oh, now he's going choke. guillotine. It looks like he may have it. Uh, there's the tap. Yep, walked right into it. He, he literally walked right into it. Great job from both these fighters, though. Morales was able to pull off a beautiful submission. And Thompson, with a messed up, broke, dislocated, we're not sure, finger, he was still able to put in into the second round there. That's well said. Look, first of all, credit to Jeff Thompson. Yeah. He's got his four kids here. He wants to put on a show. Yeah. I don't know how bad the finger is. And here's this guy saying, tape it up. Let me continue to fight. Well, so you know, he actually said, too, I just want my kids to, sit, to see that if you put your mind to it, you work hard, you can do anything. Absolutely. And Absolutely. That, and that, that involves making to the second round of a fight with a broke finger. Absolutely. Absolutely. And then on the flip side, Morales takes the fight Week notice, one week's That's notice. Right. That's right. Comes back at 19 years old. This kid's got a bright future. We saw those kicks. We saw the guillotine. Impressive. Let's go to Greg Ratliff. Fans at one minute and 16 into round number two. The referee has called for a stoppage to this fight due to submission from guillotine. In order to fight to your winner, Jonathan El Pantera Very impressive W for Jonathan L. Pantera Morales. He wins in his debut, and Jeff Thompson will lose his debut. But again, a great effort nonetheless you by can see Wild Boy. He's kind of uh, favor in that hand when he, people were hugging him. He didn't quite hug him back. Well, we, we saw it right away, Christina. Yes. There was no question about it. Now, again, he's, he's a southpaw, but the jabs had nothing on it. It was a bait. It was a bait. Jab, jab, cross. That was his money right there. There it is. But a jab with some with some pop. There for was sure. no there was for no sure. pop with a, with sure. the finger. He certainly was favoring it. Morales did a great job here. He had that choke sunk, sunk in tight, and his hips were forward, really applying the pressure to that neck, and that's how you get that win right there. And he's he's tapping for the submission. Omar's on the other side of him, so it took a, took a second. second to see it. But you know, you hope that the the fighter realizes that it's a tap a oh, tap sure. out and not you know you're trying to punch him or something sure. like that and you're in the middle where, of like that's where being a respectful fighter and a respectful teammate that's where it comes in handy uh, morales knew he knew he had that choke he was waiting on the tap 